get ready for the dictation start it may be mentioned that a writ petition under article 32 of the constitution was filed by a member of the central administrative tribunal contending that the decision in sp kumar versus union of india and others 1987 1 scc 124 equated the central administrative tribunal with the high court and therefore its chairman should be equated with the chief justice of a high court and the vice chairman and members must be equated with the sitting judges of the high court in all respects it was also contended that while the vice chairmen have been equated with sitting judges of the high courts the members have not been so equated in their pay and other conditions of service and that a distinction was made in the conditions of service particularly the pay and age of superannuation between the vice chairmen and the members which was arbitrary as a result of which the members also should be given the same pay as that of the vice chairman and their age of superannuation should also be the same that is 65 years as that of the vice chairman on interpretation of article 323a of the constitution this court took the view that administrative tribunals constituted there under are distinct from the high courts and dismissed the writ petition the administrative tribunals act 1985 came to be amended by the administrative tribunals act 2006 by the said amendment the post of vice chairman in the administrative tribunal is abolished a new provision that is section 6 2 is introduced which modifies the qualifications for appointment as administrative member in the tribunal section 10a is inserted in the main act which provides that the conditions of services of the judges of the high court would be applicable only to the members appointed after february 19 2007 the newly inserted section 10a restricts the total term of the members of the administrative tribunals to 10 years though by the said amendment the age of superannuation for a members is raised from 62 to 65 years further section 10a postulates consideration of a case of a member for reappointment by selection committee after february 19 2007 section 12 2 of the administrative tribunals act 1985 is amended and power is conferred on the appropriate government to designate a vice chairman for the purpose of performing certain duties and functions of the chairman the case of the petitioner is that the post of vice chairman was in existence in the administrative tribunals since its inception which enabled the judges of various high courts to opt for the central administrative tribunal and provided an opportunity in the nature of promotion to the members of the administrative tribunals to the post of vice chairman according to the petitioner the abolition of the said post now would create anomalous situation in the structure as well as administration of the tribunals if any high court judge is to be appointed only as a member and therefore the abolition of the post of the vice chairman is unconstitutional stop